If you're out exploring Michigan's forests in the spring, you may come across large pools of water from melting snow and spring rain. These are called vernal pools. These bodies of water contain a creature that exists nowhere else in Michigan. And scientists need your help to learn more about these fascinating ecosystems. It usually uh, holds water for about two months or more. And because they dry up every year, fish can't survive in them year round. And fish tend to be these really voracious predators. Without fish to eat them, a freshwater shrimp called a fairy shrimp can thrive in these environments. There are these magical little creatures that show up and, and then, you know, when the pool fills up with water for a couple weeks, they lay their eggs and then they're gone. They only occur in vernal pools, so you're not going to find them anywhere else in any other, you know, habitat or ecosystem uh, in Michigan. So they're, they're just really special places. This little guy is a wood frog. You can actually hear him in the background right now, but he's one of the species that depends on these vernal pools for reproduction. Salamanders use vernal pools to lay their eggs. In some forests, there are more salamanders by weight than white-tailed deer. They're considered a keystone species, meaning they're an important food source for other animals in the forest. They'll go into that surrounding forest ecosystem and then provide food for a whole host of other um, animal species, um, including uh, raptors, herons, water birds, um, snakes. They're a really important part of the food web in these forest ecosystems. Some have referred to vernal pools as the coral reefs of northeastern forests because of the incredible diversity of animal species in particular, and especially invertebrates and amphibians. You can just take like one sweep of a net, you know, and in the spring especially, and find all sorts of uh, little like snails and fingernail clams and um, different larvae. We found, I think, over a hundred different um, invertebrate taxa um, already in vernal pools with just a little bit of sampling. A lot more work remains to be done though. So there's lots of things that we don't know about vernal pools, even just or how to classify them or, um, you know, what are all the different things that occur in them. And we don't have a good idea of where they are, how they're doing, how many there are in the state. They dry up, so if you're not out there looking for them at the right time of year, you might miss them. And so they kind of fall through the cracks, you know, when it comes to our current wetland regulations. This is where scientists could use your help to collect information about the coral reefs of the northeastern forests. You can go to myvernalpools.com to learn how. They can report vernal pools to us, and if they wanted to do more, they could actually get trained and help um, collect information and help monitor vernal pools across the state and help us get a better understanding about their status and distribution and um, what we can do to try to better manage and protect them. Vernal pools are a great reminder about how something so small and temporary can have a big effect on the environment around it. We have incredible nature here in Michigan, and with your help, there's a lot more to learn about it.